So now I would like to turn to you as uh, a woman and also a very influential leader. Um, so we would like to know more about you as a leader. Uh, research has shown that uh, women uh, who are sports champions are very good leader. So how did you, uh, being a table tennis legend, shape your leadership? I think um, as the, uh, the, um, the athletes, um, we be uh, very confident for yes. that. And uh, we're not, uh, w w it is we are nervous, particularly when we play the, um, the finals in the Olympics, such a lot of uh, people watching you. But uh, the things that uh, we can cope with, yes. we can control ourselves yes. quite well. Um, so uh, I think that is important for the leaders uh, when you lead the teams, obviously you will make uh, so many difficulties yes. and uh, you have to find out the way. Uh, the leaders, you have to tell your team members yes. how to go, where to go, when to go. So uh, I think from the sports, we have to train to quick decision. And so that's uh, for, the, for the comp when you become the leaders, you definitely have to make sure you know, everything in order, everything unplanned, and, uh, and also everybody will be happy or make a full effort for the achievement. Yes. So you have to know not only yourself, you have controlled, or not only yourself, you have control everybody actually. Right. Uh, and you, uh, you have to find out that they are feeling sad or happy or something happened for their family or whatever. You have to know. You are very be you, you should be very sensitive. Otherwise, how can you become a leader? Exactly. And I think what you say is very much in line with some of the more recent, uh, the recent research in leadership, which has talked about how the leaders have to really uh, work collaboratively. And mm. collaborative leadership is much more uh, powerful and influential than, say, for example, the traditional charismatic leadership, where the leader is the uh, uh, leader is on the forefront and basically all the light is on the leader but I think shining light on your uh, group members is very important and that's kind of the leadership that uh, has been shown so I think what you said is very much in line with what what, uh, what people and are talking about yes now. and also you mentioned that now I think just now I think the, the women's athletes have become good uh, leaders as the because of the, the uh, women's sometimes look more detailed yes and uh, they are, it's, I think, uh, automatically from their uh, character. Yes. They care everybody. Yes. And uh, they are quite uh, sensitive. Yes. And that's exactly what we found actually in the research that I did on, uh, with my collaborators in China, actually, in four major cities in China, in startup companies. And what we found is that when the founding teams of the new ventures were, had greater gender diversity, the uh, decision-making process was much more open. Mm. People felt much more safe speaking yeah. up. And that actually enhanced the capabilities of the firm. Mm. So this is very much in line with what you said, is mm. creating a culture of listening better, mm. opening better, mm. opening, making other people open up, uh, that I think is very, very uh, important. Uh, I would like to now focus, we would love to hear from you about, everyone is talking about the new generation of women in China, that, um, and there was a special feature recently in BBC as well. Um, and many of these new generation of women look up to you as a very strong role model. So how would you describe this new generation of women and how they are transforming China? Uh. Actually, uh, what I understand about uh, women in China nowadays, because of um, many of the parents, uh, many of the middle class of people, uh, they sent their uh, children, whatever particular for the girls, they, they, they wanted to have uh, the best uh, education they can and provide the best conditions for them, because still in China, in fact, Men still dominated in the society, in the country, in the government, in every aspect. So let the girl have to make stronger. Otherwise, you can't compete. Yes. You can compete with the same position with men, yes. with the boys. 
So this is uh, actually we have to have fight to make the girls more stronger, more competitive. So um, that is, I think, the reasons why so many middle class people, families send their girls um, to be more competitive, to learn something more. And, uh, but for the boys, they're too spoiled <laughs> as a family. This is kind of culture in China. And it's also a virtuous circle because I think having strong role models such as yourself further reinforces and helps these uh, new generation of women have the aspirations and the motivation to rise up as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would like to thank you for providing all these insights and opening our mind up uh, towards uh, your views and uh, as well as your experiences. Um, and thank you again for being a part of this, um, being a part of this interview. And I personally really enjoyed uh, having the opportunity to have this dialogue with you. Um, and I look forward to a more stronger uh, collaboration in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.